Sunday, early morning. What do you think is better to do than to go up on a mountain and to give thanks to our Lord and God who's made us, we are His and He is ours for His great love and for His mercy. Let's sing together. Give thanks with a grateful The Lord is good and His love endures forever. His mercy never ends. He is abounding in love and He's rich in mercy. So let's see what early morning, what else we should do rather than reading together the Bible, the Word of God. And it's such a place where Mary Magdalene one whom Jesus drove out demons and he healed her would go and to the tomb and look for Jesus where he was. She was looking. Is he here? No. Let's see what what we read in the Injil, the Holy Injil, John chapter twenty which is just two chapters left in this book, which is an eyewitness report of the first century. So let's see, and let's see together what he does for you, what he has done for you. Not only uh, was she going alone there early, the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb. It was still dark. She saw that the stone had been moved away from the entrance. So she ran to Simon Peter and another disciple, the one Jesus loved. She said, they have taken the Lord out of the tomb. We don't know where they have put him. So Mary Magdalene goes alone to the tomb. She finds that the uh, stone had been moved away and she ran back to the disciples to Simon Peter and what it says to the other disciple, the one Jesus loved. Why does John not mention his own name in this text? What do you think? Was he so humble? Of course he was. He was a Jew. He would not write something down in the text which would bring glory to himself rather than it would bring glory to Jesus. So let's see. Uh, Peter and the other disciple they run for the tomb. So Peter and John, they run for the tomb. Both of them were running. The other disciple ran faster than Peter. He reached the tomb first. He bent over and looked in the strips of linen lying there, but he did not go in. Okay. Then Simon Peter caught up, who was behind him, arrived. He went into the tomb. He saw the strips of linen lying there. He also saw the burial cloth that had been around Jesus' head. The cloth was folded up by itself. It was separate from the linen. The disciple who had reached the tomb first also went inside. He saw and believed. They still did not understand from Scripture that Jesus had to rise from the dead. 
Do you understand, my dear friend, on Facebook and worldwide? Are you Muslim, Christian, or atheist, or whatever you are, you're a human being? Do you understand that Jesus rose from the dead on the third day? Let's see if they recognized him or not. Let's see if they believed, and let's see whether you believe, whether I believe it. Let's go and see what it says in the text. The disciples went back to their homes. Okay? But Mary stood outside the tomb, crying. Let's see here, there's a picture. Where you can see Mary crying. As she cried, she bent over to look into the tomb. She saw two angels dressed in white. They were seated where Jesus' body had been. One of them was where Jesus' head had been laid. The other sat where his feet had been placed. They asked her, Woman, why are you crying? They have taken my Lord away, she said. I don't know where they have put him. Then she turned around and saw Jesus standing there. She turned around, but she didn't realize that it was Jesus. Okay? She was alone, and she thought, What? Woman, he said, why are you crying? Who are you looking for? Jesus said. She thought it was the gardener. Can you imagine? So she said, Sir, did you carry him away? Tell me where you put him. Then I will go and get him. So what do you think? Why would she not recognize Jesus? Do you recognize me this morning? So how do I look? Do I look a bit different than the day before? If you are uh, going to die on the cross and you are buried, you probably look different than when you rise to life in a new a spiritual body. Jesus was probably shining in white clothes. And maybe she thought he was just someone taking care of the grave and the tombs. So, uh, she turned around to Jesus standing here. She didn't realize it was him. Sir, did you carry him away? Tell me where you put him. I will go and get him. Mary says, I will get Jesus. He is my Lord. I love him. But she, uh, Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned towards him. Then she cried out in the Aramaic language, Rabboni. Rabboni means teacher. Jesus said, Do not hold on to me. I have not yet returned to the Father. Instead, go to those who believe in me. Tell them, I am returning to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. So Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news. So what was the news? That Jesus said, don't touch me, I'm going to the Father and to your Father and to my God and to your God. So now my friends come and they ask the question, how does Jesus is God when he talks to another God? Are there two gods? No, they're not two gods. There's the Father and the Son. They are one God, but they can talk together. God can do what we cannot do. He can talk to himself because he's the Father. Father and he is the Son. And he does not say our God. He says your God and my God. So there is a different relationship between Jesus and the Father, an eternal relationship, and between you and me and our Heavenly Father, which is through Jesus, but we need to be adopted as his children. So the message was when Mary came back to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. So she said, I have seen the Lord. Can you imagine? She didn't say, I have seen Jesus just. She's seen, I've seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. She told them exactly what he told, what he said to her. And this was listened to by the disciples, the twelve, and by John. And they know and they testify. There are many more stories. But what is written in this Injil is for you and me that we would believe. So let's see another day how they came to believe that Jesus really had risen from the dead. He is risen from the dead. 
He is Lord and He is King and He can be your Lord and Savior if you accept Him and if you believe and if you follow Him. So let's go into this day with a great expectation of what Jesus can do for you.